So today we're going to be working a group of goats. We're going to be deworming them and also checking their feet. And I thought it may be a good opportunity for me to talk to you some about hoof care in goats and sheep, some of the problems that they have, how to trim feet and so forth. Come along. want to trim off trim off that pad a little bit there that outer nail you're wanting to cut the outer nail just like we cut our fingernails so when we're trimming a just a normally overgrown hoof it's going to look something like this right here you can see how that outer nail is kind of rough you can see how it's kind of overlapping just a little bit right there so we're going to trim and flatten all of that down while you're inspecting you want to look between the toes see if you see anything that uh, looks like an infection between the toes we'll uh, we'll address that when we talk about scald but just for normal hooves it may look something like this we're just going to trim them up for maintenance so if it's just a normal overgrown hoof what you'll see is you'll see this outer nail right here that has uh, grown over it's just lapped over just like our fingernails grow their their nails grow over the toe and it'll curl under the problem with that is that little pocket that it creates right there manure will get trapped in there in moisture so it'll hold that and then it'll soften that pad and cause an infection there so what we want to do is we want to take and we just want to trim off that outer nail like that just with some garden shears you can pick these up at uh, most garden supply centers you can also order them from uh, pet supply places or, or uh, farm supply places such as jeffers or valley vet and we just want to inspect the hoof get all the dirt out that's in there so we can see what's what's good now you can see on this one the pad of the foot right here this small pad has gotten a little grown so we're just going to trim that up this is just regular maintenance for them nothing is really wrong with this it's just regular maintenance to keep the foot good and healthy now when you're trimming down you'll get where it starts to turn kind of pink that means you're getting pretty close to the the quick and you want to stop trimming there if you do nick it and it, and it cuts it and it bleeds pretty badly don't worry about that uh it, it'll be okay but you don't want to do that if you can help it so if you're wondering what a healthy hoof should look like you can take a baby lamb or a kid and look at look at the bottom of their feet how it's nice and smooth no nail growing over nice and flat on the end oh it's okay and that's what a, that's what a healthy hoof is supposed to look like all right go back to your mama So there's two main problems that goats and sheep have with their feet. One is foot scald and the other is hoof rot. Uh, both of these are caused by a bacteria that live in the soil. And while neither of these is life-threatening in and of itself, it does cause the animal to be in pain, it can cause lameness, and that's going to affect the overall health of the animal. So you want to try to eliminate this if at all possible. Both of these are worse in low-lying, moist areas because that creates the right environment for the bacteria to grow in the soil. And so if you have goats or sheep that are standing in mud a lot, you're probably going to see these problems. We're going to try to look at what these are and how to treat them. All right, so here's a goat that's had some problems. As I trimmed its feet off, uh, trimmed the outer hoof off, you can see that there's manure packed up in there. And what it's done is it's caused the, uh, the foot, the bacteria to get into that bottom pad there. And uh, you can also look between the toes a little bit and kind of see that it's raw. And, uh, and so probably a little scald developing there in hoof rot. So here's what we would do. We'll take and we'll try to clean this so we can get down and expose and open everything up there clean that up you can see there's some raw flesh there because that manure has been allowed to build up in there that's the reason why you want to trim hooves is to keep that from happening so we clean all of that up get it down where all of that's clean and there's no 
nail there that will hold that and cause it to continue to hold manure and moisture in there. And then when we get that all clean, we'll take and we'll topically coat it with uh, oxytetracycline, LA200. And that'll kill all of that bacteria that is, uh, that is, is there on the surface. Now, if it's hoof rot, we wanna go ahead and give her a shot of oxytetracycline too to uh, make sure that it's in her bloodstream. So that way it can fight that infection both interior and exterior. All right, so here's, here's a young goat that's got scald pretty bad. First of all, you notice how overgrown its feet are. And, uh, and it, it's a young goat is only a yearling and it's probably never been trimmed and it's probably been on a high grain diet. That's the reason its feet is gr have grown this much. Ordinarily, they, a young one like this wouldn't have this long of hooves. And she's got scald on this foot, so it's very tender and it's very painful to her. And that's the reason she's struggling as much. Well, I say that she may struggle anyway but it's not helping any because I know this is uncomfortable for her. But if you'll look, and maybe the camera can, can see, if you look between those toes right there, you can see how it's kind of white and raw looking. That's where the irritation is. And so what we need to do is we need to coat that. But first I need to trim and make sure I've got it good and clean. got that pad pretty level now. Now I need to trim off this outer nail on this one. Level it up. You can see there's just mud and crusty stuff from the scald. All right. Now, now we can see a little bit better. We can see that raw spot inside there. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna take oxytetracycline, I'm gonna spread those toes apart, and I'm just gonna squirt it in there, just topically coating it. Make sure to coat it well. You can see that's coated well. And check the other foot. You can see I've already coated it. So she should be good to go. Usually if it's on one foot, there's a good chance it may be on the other feet as well. So you wanna do all four feet while you have them, have them restrained. So it's important to remember that the, these problems are caused by bacteria that live in the soil. And if you just treat the animal and then put the animal back in the same contaminated area, they're probably going to be infected by it again. One of the things that you can do that's probably the most effective is you can rotate the animals out of the infected area. So treat the animals and then move them to a clean pasture. Keep them out of the infected area for two to three weeks. My understanding is the bacteria normally just lives in the soil for a couple of weeks. Then you can move them back into that pasture and you can break the cycle that way. You may have to do that a few times, but eventually you can break the cycle. So a little maintenance can go a long way in preventing some foot problems with goats and sheep. Usually trimming once a year is sufficient. And so if you can take the time to do that once a year, usually that'll be the case. If you're feeding a lot of grain or if the animals are in a real low lying pasture, kind of a swampy area, you may have to do it more than once a year. But from my experience, once a year is usually sufficient maintenance. If you found this video to be helpful, please like, subscribe, leave a comment below. Maybe you have some tips that would help our viewers in this. And if you are within driving distance of the Northwest Alabama area and need some goats and sheep, give us a call, see what we have available at the time. Happy farming.